obviously painted. Wow! Another wonderful, wonderful day in the Inspiration neighborhood. It's Wednesday morning and it's time to wake up Nigeria. Yes, let's wake up. We are so happy let's to be coming up. to you live, bright and early yeah. this Wednesday morning here in Lagos. My name is Titi Oyinson. And I'm Yomi Owope. Thanks and uh, we feel very welcome in your homes this morning. And indeed, it's going to be a great, great day. Don't forget, you can catch us live online tvcontinental.tv is the website and we're also live right now on facebook at tvc connect and thank you again for your comments and feedback on instagram and twitter mm -hmm. be sure to follow us and participate using the hashtag wake up nigeria follow uh, at tvc connect we hope you're ready to go with us all the way today because hey we plan to keep you glued keep you locked right there at your tv screen as is our tradition, we always welcome so many other great individuals into the studio. We have Chef Beyonce. Beyonce. Good morning. Beyonce. Beyonce. <laughs> Good morning. I see you guys are really excited this morning. Uh, no, I saw sugar and spice on the on the table there. So you know we get energized because yes. of what's about to yeah, happen. Yeah, so today's going to be like sugar rush. Uh huh. <laughs> And, uh, of course, we have Mike on standby. Mionsi, you're meeting Mike for the first time, aren't you? No, he's not. No. I don't think no, so. No, we haven't heard him earlier. Dude. Oh, yeah, we earlier did. in the week. We did. <laughs> his adoption process we is still undergoing. Oh. The, the papers okay. are there finalized. I, so. I, don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know why Mionsi says that, but then, um, <laughs> Titi, young lady, uh, the way you said that, wow, I woke up the second <laughs> time. <laughs> All right. I okay. have to stretch. Mm -hmm. All right, good and morning now, uh, and welcome to the yeah. news. I am Mike Messi Kenor. All right, welcome. let's uh, get straight to the news this uh, morning. Yeah. Uh, right after the rundown of the day's activities. Yeah, we're just going to give you a rundown and, mm -hmm. you know, hand it over back to Mike. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the activities for today were, first of all, preparing for somebody's birthday coming up. <laughs> we'll talk about that a little later on, but make sure that you tune in tomorrow because somebody's birthday is coming up. We're going to be having musical performances <laughs> on the show today. Yeah. And of course, our guests will be teaching us a thing or two about a sumptuous breakfast as usual. Yeah. We're going to be having Meontay giving us uh, a few strawberries and. <laughs> Don't let the cat out of the bag. Throwing now. things together with Ooh. milk. Yummy, why are you doing amazing. like this? He's why are you doing like guy. this? Okay. Well, you know. Okay, well, just keep it, keep it locked so that they stay close. We have some viral videos coming your way. And, uh, well, we're not going to spill everything just yet, but the program promises to be packed with a lot of excitement just for you. But now, as we said earlier, Mike is on standby to take the news update. All right, welcome to the news. Uh, Boronu State Governor Kashim Shetima has confirmed Boko Haram's killing of 31 fishermen at Baga in Kukawa local government area of the state. He said this while presenting the relief materials donated by the Economic Community of West African States to the internally displaced persons in Meduguri. Shatima said that the attack indicated that the Boko Haram insurgents were still unleashing terror in the Lake Chad Basin. But he noted that the military and other security agencies were yet to verify the report. Ondo State Command of a Nigerian police force has apprehended four persons suspected to be Fulani headsmen over the killing of a farmer, Omowale Omirison, in Ore in Odigbo, local government area of the state. Police spokesman Femi Joseph said the wife of the deceased informed the police about the killing of her husband. TVC News gathered that the deceased was attacked while walking on his farm when he challenged the headsmen for invading his farm. Joseph said the men of the command swung into action after the matter was reported at the Ored Division, leading to the arrest of the four suspects. The command also arrested six suspected cultists in Akure. Acting President Yemi Oshimbajo says he is surprised at the news report quoting Ayo Adebanjo as saying he described those agitating for restructuring as political jobbers. According to the acting president's spokesman, Laulu Akonde, the video, audio tapes, and full text of Ushibanjo's speech at the National Security Summit held last week are publicly available. The acting president says the debate on restructuring is an important one and the calls for restructuring cover a wide range of valid issues. Anambra State Governor Willie Obiano says there is now a manhunt for the gunmen that killed 12 persons in church during the weekend. He said this, while picking his governorship and nomination form 
at the National Secretariat of the All Progressives Grand Alliance. He says some suspects have been arrested in the Ozubulu killings and that the government is working with federal authorities to arrest the killers. The Human Rights Writers Association wants a thorough investigation of the killing of worshippers at the St. Philip's Catholic Church. While commiserating with victims of the incident, the association noted that, that investigations have been quite slow. It said that several sites of the incident have come up without Nigerians knowing the true nature of those who carried out the attack. The Minister of Communications, Adebayo Shito, has urged the National Assembly to expedite action in passing the postal reform bill upon resumption from recess. The minister made this appeal while briefing journalists in Abuja on Monday. He noted that the repositioning of Nai Post will help the country become more economically viable as the move aims to unbundle the institution to profit-driven subsidiaries. And that's it on the news update. I will be giving you some sports updates shortly. But then, uh, let's move to your me entity. We're going to be going straight to the weather and be right back for the papers. And we're back. It's all about what's happening in the news uh, yeah, in the of world course, of sports. Uh, sports right and now. of course, Mike is here. Mike is like a Superman. He just did news and yeah. two seconds later, he's on the couch. Okay. <laughs> about to deliver sports. <laughs> Coming from your me, that's uh, <laughs> thank you. Superman. <laughs> that's a great one. Okay, so yesterday, Madrid, uh, Manchester United. Did you guys watch the match? Man, amazing. I didn't watch the whole thing because okay. I was in transit. Okay. I'm going to act like I did. Like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I okay, so it. We, yeah. We, this part they don't know. But How was the match? Look, Real Madrid. Look, you guys. I mean, I reserve my. That's comments. your team, right? <laughs> no, no, that's not my team. Oh, okay, but Moreno is my man. Yeah, I like him. Amazing <laughs> work by Real Madrid there. Okay, all right, let's get so straight into it. So I watch sports for for the shorts. For I the shorts. Football yeah. for the shorts. Okay. The men in tight socks. She likes the fine boys. That's all. Uh, on, that's why on I watch the City. Someone that's should not hear what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move straight to it. Uh, Real Madrid have emerged UEFA Super Cup champions for the fourth time after beating Manchester United 2-1 in the 2017 edition played on Tuesday night in Macedonia. Midfielder Casemiro put Real Madrid in the lead with a left foot strike midway through the first half just before Isco consolidated Real's advantage with a slick piece of skill seven minutes into the second half. United's £75 million new signing Romelu Lukaku reduced the deficit for the Red Devils with his first competitive goal for the club in the 62nd minute. But Real Madrid uh, stayed firm to win the contest 2-1 and become the first team to retain the Super Cup trophy since AC Milan did it in 1990. Fellaini with Carvajal. Well won by Fellaini. Rashford. All right, clubs are scrambling to get their business done before the opening fixtures. So for some teams, it uh, will be more important to hold on to key men. And one of such is Liverpool. Of course, uh, Barcelona's pursuit of Philip Coutinho was stepped up on Tuesday morning when club directors uh, arrived in England in an attempt to close the deal. Barcelona had uh, an opening offer of £72 million turned down two weeks ago by Liverpool and a second offer closer to 80 million pounds also failed to convince. 
And moving on from that, uh, Chelsea are ready to lock horns with the Manchester United in the transfer market once again in a bid to sign Sergio Aurier from Paris Saint-Germain. Antonio Conte has made no secret of his desire to strengthen his squad before the market closes. The Premier League champions are confident of landing four more signings. Okay, now this is the big one. Your Majesty, there's mm -hmm. been so much money going around. Yeah. Now, Barcelona have 222 million euros burning in their pockets. Yeah. So, Liverpool, they are pushing for it. Look, you have money, you're going to spend it. 80 million, they're like, nah, that's too small. Can wow. you imagine? 80 million. Wow. How much will it take to sign you up? <laughs> Five million pounds? <laughs> <laughs> Two million? Oh, but that's something. If, if it's coming to me, uh, that's okay. I can make do with that. Look, okay. we can just you know, slash like 10 years off your age and you're ready. Ah, that's 10. No, let's do like 15 now. <laughs> 10 is too small. That'll bring you to like, what, <laughs> 16 years old. Uh, <laughs> let's do it 12. Okay, all right. Uh, Team Nigeria again had a bad day at the World Athletics Championship after Glory Nathaniel failed to reach the final of the 400 meters hurdles. Nathaniel competed against a strong field in the second semi-final contest, but was disqualified for lane violation. Through to the final are uh, Aristana Tracy, Lee Spronger, Cassandra Tat, Corey Kata, Sage Watson, and Delilah Mohammed. Meanwhile, South Africa's Wade Van Nierkick has won the men's 400 meters gold after putting up a dominating performance in the final contest on Tuesday evening. The 25-year-old Olympic champion and world champion also, also and world record holder over the 400 meters reached the finish line in 43.98 seconds with ease. Stephen Gardner of the Bahamas claimed silver, while Abdelela Haroun of Qatar took bronze. South Africa's Casta Semania has reacted to allegations over high natural testosterone levels. Samania, who won bronze in the women's 1,500 meters, has been questioned over her hyperandrogenism and the advantage the high testosterone levels give her. The IAAF published a study earlier in July which suggests athletes with the condition had an improved performance between 1.8 and 4.5%. But Samania is concentrating on, her, on how to retain her 800 meters world title. The Nigerian Basketball Federation have uh, their eyes on creating a structure to support the development and promotion of uh, three-on-three -three basketball in the country. Three-on-three -three basketball is a form of a game played uh, three aside on one hoop. Now, it is regarded as the largest urban team sport in the world. Basketball authorities say Nigeria can realize its full potential in the three-on-three -three format and are making efforts at providing the enabling platform for talents at grassroots. Nigeria has been a strong force in FIBA Africa Zone 3 since the three-on-three -three format was introduced to the region and president of the Nigeria Basketball Federation, Amadou Musa Kida, wants more progress. And uh, you, you, you might have something to say about basketball. I once heard you say you, you mm. like oh, yeah. basketball. Yeah, I mean, you still I, like it? Of course. I, mean, I still play when <laughs> well, I you can. Know, You'll you be short if you're looking at basketball as you're a short guy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I mean, in the midst of basketball, I mean, you're looking at... <laughs> you're giving it to me on... on I'm shorter, I'm shorter, I'm shorter. Yeah. I'm far so shorter. You're looking at yeah, six, seven, six, eight. Vertically challenged is the no, correct no, term. No, no, no. Just saying. I'm, you know, Just this saying. is, I mean, on, on live TV, like, telling me that I'm short. <laughs> and I'm actually over six feet tall. All right, okay. all right, all right. All right. That's uh, the much uh, <laughs> we can take on sports, all right? Moving on to Yomi Antiti for the newspaper. Yeah, thank yes. you so much, Mike, for that. We're going to be moving straight to the newspaper headlines uh, this morning. Mm -hmm. And uh, Titi, you want to start with the punch? Yes, with the punch. Uh, it says, uh, Doctor others affected as Lassa fever kills two in Lagos. Uh, cause for concern since 100 Luth workers are under surveillance. Uh, there's also um, a message here about uh, Buhari. Buhari knocks, as, uh, knocks for FG as police assault uh, resume or resign protesters. That's on page two of The Punch. Um, there's one that uh, you know struck me here. It says, baby falls into fire during a couple's fight over infidelity. Wow. Wow. So a sad story there. Really sad one. And then on the cover of this day, we have um, Senate stands with Buhari, tells protesters to leave him alone. That's talking about the uh, resume or resign demonstrators. They now have a name, resume or resign. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> says he hasn't violated any law. And then also on the cover of this day, 
FG withdraws suit against seven banks over TSA. And then INEC seeks more powers to reject candidates, all on the cover of this day this morning. All right. Uh, the headline on The Nation says EFCC traces 47 billion naira, uh, 100 or rather 487 million dollars to ex-oil minister Dizani. Really, so if it's even long, too it just long blows to, the to, mind. to say, yeah. you know. Um, some, you know, some in different bank accounts, Abuja, Lagos, Portacot houses also listed with this story. Um, there's also uh, um, something about uh, jungle justice at suspected ritualist den in Lagos. That's on page six of the nation. Right. And then uh, finally, on the cover of the Vanguard, police invite local government chairman Ike Gwono's aid Union PG, and then uh, also Lassa fever kills two infects doctor at Luth 100 walkers um, quarantined. quarantined. That's uh, oh. on the cover of the Vanguard, and then also um, a bum scare at Lagos Airport. You will find that in page 10 of the Vanguard, and then uh, athletics the great decline. That's on the sports pages, also in the Vanguard this morning. So you can get all these and other stories in the Vanguard when you pick up your copy. And that's it on the headlines for the papers now. We'll be right back with Mike and Kemen, and they're in workout mode. Feel free to join them. Good morning. It's a time to walk out and keep fit. Today I'm ready to look for trouble. You see who's beside me? If I go out of this door anytime and this guy's beside me, don't try me. All right? We've got Kemen who is here to get you burning some calories. Kemen, great to have you in the house today. Great to be here today. You look like three people. No, I yeah, look like, like one, one person. Me also, don't you want to say something? Okay, maybe he might not want to say something, but I know during the show later on, we might do, we'll have something to say here. I don't know why you went. Even if you spent just two weeks, you should have come out a bit. I mean, you have Kemen in there. I mean, look at him. Come on. All right, so Kemen, what do we have uh, for today? Okay, uh, it's a bit of my personalized workout. I call it BITE, basic okay. intense training exercise. Okay. It's uh, a 20 minute routine, but for the sake of time, okay. we would. Uh, Put we'll everything, cut it down, cut it down into right. one, uh, 10 minutes, okay. which is uh, the time for the show. Wow. So after we're done, we'll look like you, would we? Well, let's see how that goes. <laughs> okay. All right. Kevin, okay, take it away. All right. Take All it right. away. Okay, guys. So like I said, it's a uh, bite, basic intense training exercise. So um, I'm going to sh be showing you from the warm up to the exercise proper. So first, I'm going to have to take off my watch because... Uh, we don't work out with juries. And I also have my towel here, just in case I sweat. And it's also important that you have water by your side while you're working out. So like I said, um, we start with um, warm up and then we stretch before we go into workout proper. Because when you warm up, uh, you free up the muscles and then you stretch. And it's um, good for you to uh, work out because uh, your system is warm your body responds better, and you don't hurt a muscle trying to work out. So I'll start with the warm-up, and then uh, into the stretches. So we could just start with hoping. And you can just count 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hop and squats in 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. High smile. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Butt kicks. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, jumping jacks. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, one, side punches, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, punches, go, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and time, all right, so straight into stretches, now I feel warm, and it's easy for me to stretch, knowing very well that uh, my muscles are good to go, my joints are freer now, stretch, all the way down, in, and out, and then the head is the last thing out, to go down, stretch, relax, it is important to stretch properly, like I said, so you don't hurt the muscle at the end of the day. All right, we're about rounding off our stretch session, and then we go into the workout proper. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, so this session is for those that don't have a, um, so much time, the luxury of time. It's a, a 60 to one routine. Six program is usually four minutes uh, and 30 seconds, so I will start. So we go jumping jacks. Now this is for 60 seconds. After the jumping jacks, you go right into your alternate jacks for 50 seconds. And after the alternate jacks, you go into Heitzman for 40 seconds and then right after the height run you go into your plank jacks for 30 seconds and then high uh, mountain climbers for 20 seconds and burpees for 10 seconds and then you plank for one minute that's a circuit for cardio and then you rest for one minute and then go into the upper body routine. You punch for 60 seconds, and then you go shoulder taps for 50 seconds. After shoulder taps, you go side plank holds for 40 seconds. After that, you go into alternate planks for 30 seconds, and then you go into half ball pace for 10 seconds, and then side planks. 30 seconds for each side. And then you turn to this other side for another 30 seconds. And then you rest for another one minute. So you have uh, about uh, nine minutes gone. And then uh, the last set is for your lower body. So we start with high knees. The beautiful thing about high knees is that it works your total body, but we focus on your lower ab. After doing this for 60 seconds, you're going to lunges for 50 seconds. And then side runs for 40 seconds. You feel it burning at this stage. And then you're going to jump squats. Jump squats, you need to go really deep and hop all the way out for 30 seconds and then you go sidewalks for 20 seconds go the deeper you go the better you feel it burn you feel your whole lower body burning at this point and then you go heels touches for 10 seconds at this point trust me you feel like you're carrying the house on your head and then you hold squat hold for one minute some people could just do a wall seat if you have a, a wall to lean on for one minute. And then when you're done, you have about one minute, 30 seconds rest uh, left for you to warm down, maybe for 30 seconds. Just free up, breathe, taking a deep breath, breathe in, breathe out, like five reps. And then you stretch again, you warm down.
stretch. It is very necessary. This is a very good stretch. It's called a uh, uh, chart pose. And then you go out. It works your total body. And that's, uh, that's it for bite. If you follow the routine, you would see that it's a uh, very basic workout. It is not the type that you say, I'm too big, I'm too heavy, I don't think I can do it. It is something that everybody can do. And the beautiful thing is that no matter the level of fitness you find yourself, it's very easy for you to start from somewhere. And the more you do the bite routine, the more you see yourself growing in it. All right, sometimes you can start and you don't finish the 20 minutes uh, smoothly. It, it might take you two to three weeks, but the beautiful thing is the, the smoother you get, the more you see uh, visibly that you're actually uh, growing your fitness life. And in no time, you can just uh, find your, the body goal you've always uh, been looking for just around the corner. So that's it for bite this. This morning, thank you very much for having me. <sighs> wow. Uh, why are you smelling now? <laughs> you know what I was Because doing, right? workout is fun. Workout oh, is fun. fun. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. So how long will I, will I do all of this if I start looking like you? No, when you, when you start, when you put a start and a stop date is a problem because okay. working out is a lifestyle. All right. Like he says yeah. on his uh, shirt, go hard or go home. Yes. That's a wrap on this session. You don't stop until you're there. It's all about determination. Thank you, Kemen. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much.